Monday to Wednesday and Friday from 2.30 to 3.30 to come in office. I'm not so playing on that. Same thing. So that we could tell them on iTunes. Since
we did that. Welcome, good morning, good afternoon, good night, and whatever hour you're watching this, hello. So today, as promised, we're going to be discussing um, this course's syllabus. I took a little bit while because I was trying to adapt it to our situation. We are giving classes asynchronous. So first off, this is English 3202, which is English Composition and, writing, and Reading 2. Um, this is supposed to be um, three hours of lectures per week, which is why I post every Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. Um, th um, around 2.30 and 3.20, you will always see a post in the portal.ubr.edu, which is where we're giving classes. Okay. Here, um, in the general information, you have the office where there's the link to the meeting where we have uh, our Google Meet in the office, which is 3.30 to 4.30 every Friday, okay? You also have it, I think I sent you the invitation uh, just about right now, um, <clears throat> for the office hours that you can add it to your calendar and it can also be a reminder for you if you want to enter the office and just talk to me about anything or about anything. So, of course, um, this syllabus is subject to change. Anything can happen. That is the life in the colegio, right? Um, anything can happen. That means that we get we would have to probably adapt to the different circumstances. Who knows what's next? Um, in this course, we will be practicing writing. We will be practicing reading. Okay, and we will be practicing um, how to do oral reports. Okay, so um, basically, <clears throat> reading, writing, talking. Right. That's all we're gonna do in a formal environment, of course. Okay. So what I want. You, what I want you to get out of this course is I want you to learn how to narrow a topic, so a very specific topic. You already saw that on on pre-writing, right? Um, providing supporting details or general statements in their essay, organizing the content of their own writing, right? Writing introduction, introductory body and concluding paragraphs, demonstrating evidence of the abilities to revise, edit, and prove to read their own work. We're working on this on the revising step, right? Engaging in peer review. I'm still looking into this. We'll probably have that the type of discussion where you post a journal and we will talk about a little bit further on what do I mean by a journal. Um, well, you will post a journal and you would have to comment on two other um, students' journal. So that way we can have some type of peer review, right? Um, working through series of drafts, writing a well-organized and effective essay on given topic and or in a response to a text, writing a persuasive essay, writing a basic research paper, writing a formal academic style using MLA. We're going to work on this today, okay? Today we're going to be working on MLA. Using MLA system of documentation, including quotation, paraphrase, and summary methods to avoid plagiarism. Evaluating and using library and or information technologies. Applying basic English grammar within the context of our own writing. In writing a final exam in an assigned two-hour time period in response to a prompt. And later on this semester, I'll give you more details about the final exam. <clears throat> in the era of reading, you should be able to analyze and discuss text, support and interpret the evidence in text, recognize elements of fiction, setting, plot, theme, character, symbolism, etc., and recognizing organizational structure of selected text, identifying supporting evidence. Of course, you should be able to give an oral report and work in, in, in groups of two or three or more to discuss uh, what is being discussed in class, which is probably topics and themes or classroom reading, vocabulary development, and so on. Okay, so in this class, we will use journal writing, mini lectures, which are the ones that are given in the videos, in class discussions in small group. We will try to do this um, using um, El Foro, a lot of forums. Um, reading and writing workshops, small group multimodal presentation, peer editing and proofreading guided and independent research, guest speakers, panel attendance, and participation. Okay. I expect from you 
to just download the document. So I'm not going to expect you to to buy anything. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to make it the most accessible class that I can in this time in these trying times as for students, right? So minimum or required resources available in this course. The instructor student required routine access to computing facilities and the internet. Everything is always going to be in portal.upr.edu. So if you have questions, if you have doubts, what are we doing? Just go in portal.upr.edu. Okay. So you go into our class and you can see what's up. Oh, you have the assignments, you have the videos, you have some tutorials, and you can also ask me questions always in the emails. Okay. Now, don't stay behind. Try not to stay behind because if you don't do the work, uh, it's going to pile up. What you can use, I, you can use a dictionary, my own Webster, you have a link, all at Purdue. That's what we're going to do. be using today, um, which is MLA. Um, we're going to learn about MLA format and how to recognize plagiarism tutorial, right? Uh, I, just understanding what um, plagiarism is. <clears throat> so, in summary, we're going to be using uh, we're going to be doing the pro writing process, which is what we've been doing. Um, today we're just going to learn about formatting, but in the next class we'll work on the, on the, um, not the last step, the, la the step before the last step, <laughs> which is going to be editing, of course. Um, library based workshops for literature based classes, review and application of elements of fiction, grammar and context, analysis and application of select readings, oral presentations. Okay. So this is more or less how we'll be dividing the hours. <clears throat> so, um, absences being present in my class means that you're doing the initial activities and the exit tickets on the video, okay? So always do the initial activities and the exit ticket. In this case, um, today, um, the only activity that you would have is to electronically sign the, the syllabus and I will let you, uh, and I will do we'll give you those instructions for that okay and that's how i will mark you present for today okay so as you as some of you already know um, and for those of you who might not remember so the way that i'm um i'm saying that you're present in this class and if if you do the initial activities and the exit tickets on the videos not necessarily the assignments just the initial activities and the exit tickets and the description so if you have any questions on that remember to ask me okay don't no pierda los puntos Okay, so we're use journal reflections, which are we're gonna do some readings. Vamos a hacer una lectura, probably three, maybe more than three, and you have to do uh, three journal reflections, which is two paragraphs on what we just read. Okay, speaking logs. Um, we'll discuss more of that over the course, but basically, just talking to someone in English for approximately half an hour. Okay, and. We're going to have one essay on literal analysis, um, one text analysis of one element in fiction, two text comparison, and another in two text comparison and contracts of one element of fiction across two texts. Okay. One group presentation and a final exam. Again, it's going to be announced in May, approximately three pages, which is basically just writing. Um, it's the normal grading system, which is A is 190, B is 81. 8980, C7970, D6960, and F is everything lower than 59. Okay, so, um, important. So, according to Law 51, all reasonable accommodation as per the Americans with Disability Act ADA will be coordinated through the Office of Dean. So those of you who have uh, acomodo razonable, right? Um, reasonable accommodations. Um, you gotta write through me through the emails.